Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sorrell and today I'm going to show you how to play GameCube games on your Wii U. The virtual Wii and your Wii U will need to be homebrewed to do this, so check out my tutorial below showing you how to homebrew the virtual Wii. And since we are going to be playing GameCube games, I strongly recommend using a GameCube controller. If you don't have a GameCube controller, you can use a Wii Classic controller or a Wii Remote and Nunchuck. The nunchuck is required if you're going to be using a Wii Remote. Some other USB controllers work too, but for this tutorial, we're going to be sticking with a GameCube controller. By the way, to connect the GameCube controller to your Wii U, you'll have to buy an adapter. I have some linked below. Now, let's get started. On your computer, make a new folder on the desktop and rename it to Games. Make sure you type it exactly as I am. Inside the games folder, make a new folder and rename it to the title of the game you want to play. I'm going to be playing Super Smash Bros Melee. Rename your GameCube backup, which you already have, to Game. Make sure you type it exactly as I am. Now drag it into the folder you just made. You can repeat this process for as many games as you like. Now drag the games folder to the root of your Wii U SD card or drag it to the root of a USB storage device. I'll be using the Wii U SD card in this tutorial. Now click the link below and it will take you to this page. Click the blue loader.doll link to download it. Click the blue icon.png link, then when the page loads, save the image to your computer. And finally, right click on the blue meta.xml link and save it to your desktop as a link. Now that you have the required files, make a new folder on your desktop and rename it to Nintendo't. Move the free files which you downloaded to the Nintendo't folder. Now rename the loader.doll file to boot. I should add in the .doll file extension automatically. Now copy the Nintendo folder over to the apps folder which is on the root of your Wii U SD card. Now eject the SD card and put it back into your Wii U. By the way, if you hold in the B button on the Wii U gamepad when your Wii U is turning on, it will boot right into the Wii menu. Load up the homebrew channel. Now load Nintendo, which you just installed. Now use the arrow buttons on your Wii Remote to select where the games are saved. 
I saved mine in this tutorial to the SD card. Press A to select it. Before we start playing the GameCube games, press the B button to open settings. Navigate to Mem Card Emulation and turn it on. It will be turned off by default. I recommend turning on Force Widescreen, Force Progressive and Wii U Widescreen. These will be turned off by default. Now that you're using the best settings, let's load a GameCube game. Press the B button to go back to the game selection page. If you put more than one game on the USB drive or SD card, you can use the D-pad to navigate through them. Select the game you want to play, then press the A button. When the game finishes loading, your Wii Remote will freeze. You'll have to connect a nunchuck or use a different controller to continue. You should disconnect the Wii Remote if you're not going to be using it to save on battery. Since these are GameCube games, I'm going to be using my GameCube controller. When you're finished, say if everything is normal, then press the power button on your Wii U. The GameCube controller does not have a power button or home button. That's it, you can now play GameCube games on your Wii U. Well, that's all for today. My name is Jack Sorrell and I'll see you next Sunday for a brand new video. If you have an idea for a future video, leave it in the comment section below and I'll feature your channel in the video if your idea gets chosen.